Hey guys, I'm going to show you in this video how to use the search with browser functionality in AMZ Analyzer to do some product research on Amazon.com and hopefully we'll find some new products we can sell um, and make a profit. So I'm going to go through this example. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to find exactly. I'm just going to randomly go through this and try to explain what I'm doing so that you guys can be familiar with um, the capabilities of this feature. So first and foremost, you'll notice after clicking the browser button, I actually get a browser that pops up in a window like this. You'll notice this looks a little bit different than your standard browser, and that's because this is a unique browser to the program and it has the scrape uh, functionality up here, and we'll get into how to use that uh, here in just a second. So what you need to know about this browser is any page that you're on that has products, uh, this browser can scrape these products into the program. Um, you can um, you could you could use this search bar and find a page and or you can go to a um, you could put a URL in here for a seller's storefront and scrape a seller's storefront. You could do anything you want or you could you could uh, uh, navigate by categories and I'm going to start there and, and and see what we could find. I'm going to randomly select a category. We found uh, kitchen and dining here and the best uh, results you'll you'll get is if uh, is if you really narrow down on some subcategories here to find some unique uh, niche products that everyone hasn't already looked at. So I'm going to find something here that looks good. Um, I'm going to select measuring tools and see if we could find something here. I'm going to click on go and notice I have scrape next page automatically selected. This means that uh, there, there will, this, this browser will actually go from one page to the next and scrape all of the products it can into the program. When I click go, you'll see the status has been updated here. So we're ready to actually scrape this, uh, this, uh, this category now but before we do I'm going to go into the settings and uh, I'm going to show you something that is that is uh, uh, very important to understand for this functionality and that's this purchase price assumption now clear, clearly we don't know what the purchase price um, is for all of these products because we're not currently selling them and by purchase price I mean the cost to acquire each product from the supplier. But I'm going to use an assumption of 50%, 50% uh, of cost to estimate fees. Now, cost to estimate fees is, is basically the, the price you will be selling this product uh, on Amazon. So if a product is listed on Amazon as selling for $50, its cost to estimate fees is $50, and we're going to assume that our acquisition cost, our purchase price from the supplier is $25 in order to get a 50% um, in, 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 or, in order to for purchase price to be 50% of cost to estimate fees. I hope that makes sense. So we're going to keep that setting as is, but you could change it as you see fit. We're going to go back to dashboard now. We're going to click run and the program should start processing products immediately. You'll see the queue is starting to fill up and we should start seeing completed products come in. We could click on the results tab and see that uh, products are now being populated. This may take some time depending on how broad the category is or how many products there are in your chosen category. Uh, this one's pretty broad so I think this is going to run for some time and uh, we're, we're going to end up with a lot of products to look at. Okay guys, I am now done processing this list and we have a lot to, of stuff to look at. There's actually um, over 9,000 uh, products that have been generated from this search and you can see there's a lot of stuff here in this list. So the first thing I like to do is make sure that my inbound shipping rules uh, and assumptions are set correctly. Now this is the cost the program assumes uh, is, uh, uh, it, this is the number it's going to take to uh, ship each product individually from your supplier to your warehouse or home 
and uh, over to Amazon's warehouse if you're doing FBA. So I'm going to use a dollar per pound uh, as an assumption here. Uh, I'm not uh, using tax on sourcing or prep fee per item, but you could use that as well. So first and foremost, we, we now need to narrow this list down to a manageable number. This, there's 9,500 products here, and what, what I really want to see are some winners. There are a few ways to do this. One way is you can go through and you can do a, um, you could do your filters um, manually here and select which filters you like to um, you'd like to set maybe you'd like profit to be uh, you know uh, greater than or equal to you know, four dollars um, or whatever it may be I'm actually going to show you a simple way to do this we already have a um, standard grid view here called potential winners view so I'm going to I'm going to use that as a starting point when I select that, it automatically applies a bunch of filters that are pre-configured. Uh, if you'd like to see what those filters are and add to them or modify them, you could click this Edit Filter uh, button at the bottom and you could see all the filters. So let's go through them. Our filters are, are looking for, um, they're, they're saying that sales rank cannot be null. And null just means missing or zero. So Everything that doesn't have a sales rank, we filtered out. We're also saying that sales rank has to be less than or equal to 100,000. That's an arbitrary number. You could select your own, but 100,000 is a pretty good, um, a pretty good number for most categories. Profit, we'd like to see uh, greater than or equal to four dollars, and return on investment is greater than or equal to 30 percent. Now, I'm going to actually modify this here and show you how this works. Uh, I, in, in this search, I like to look at stuff that has a uh, return on investment of at least 50%. So we're gonna make that modification and we're going to apply. You can see that immediately our list has shrunk now. We can now go through and, um, and look at some of the other, uh, at some of the other fields here and you know we have a small enough number of products here that I'd like to now show Amazon review um, and uh, is sold by Amazon data so I just select all of these rows and click this button up here and you can see this is now populating for me so immediately you know I, I could tell you that I'm not a fan of competing with amazon.com so I'm going to now filter out I'm going to add a filter um, where everything that is sold by Amazon, we're going to filter out. I also want to look at um, the offers. So I don't want to compete with a bunch of sellers. And um, I, I specifically am concerned about FBA competition because I'm an FBA seller so I'm really interested in things that or in products that either don't have an FBA seller or have very few like one or two so I, these look pretty good to me um, just a side note if you're if you find a product that looks really great uh, but it, and it doesn't have any FBA sellers always make sure that it's not restricted in some way from being sold on FBA. And you can do that by simply trying to add it to your, um, uh, it, 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 to simply create a sales listing and, and see if it actually allows you to do it FBA. Um, so, you know, I just, just to demonstrate, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this filter and for, for total offers. And I'm gonna say, I want everything from one to, um, let's do one to seven. All right, now let's let's come back over here. Um, I see that you know most of these are um, are pretty good, but some of them have you know uh, you know this one has a low rating, um, but it only has one review, so I think that's okay. I'm going to leave that in there for now, and I think at this point it's time to go through and and really look at these. 
at these products and see if there's something that we can find that looks like a winner. Um, actually, there's one more thing. Let me look at one more thing here. Ah, great. So package weight. You know, this is this is my personal preference, but I don't like heavy packages. The um, the shipping costs eat up a lot of profit, and uh, if it gets, uh, it, it's just not really in my not something I'm interested in. You may feel differently, but for for purposes of this, I'm, I'm gonna I'm only gonna look at things that weigh less than call it four pounds. So you could see my list got um, got a lot smaller by doing that. Okay, now we can look at the short list, right? So first off, before I look at anything, um, really the best way to gauge whether a product is selling is by looking at its Keepa chart. Uh, you can you can do that in the program by just hovering over sales rank. So this this one looks okay. You know, you can see all the squiggly lines and you can see that every time that that green line takes a dip, um, that that's a sale. So when you have a keep a chart that isn't seeing sales, it's going to look very flat. It's going to it's going to look like maybe it has a dip, you know, every, once a month or or or, or but but this one it's it's not the best but it's it, it is selling it is selling um, and if if you don't have a lot of competition this one is okay to look at. This one looks really interesting. It looks like between August and September it must have run out of stock, or something happened. But then it very quickly started selling again. But you see how squiggly that line is and how low it is on the chart. Uh, meaning that its sales rank stays at a very low number in the kitchen category. This product sells a lot. So this is the kind of squiggly line that we really love to see. This one is pretty good too. This one's good. You could see that uh, it started selling it looks like in June. This one is not good. You know, and we could look into this further. There may be an explanation for this, but um, you know, it's just this one doesn't look very good. I, I'm going to I'm going to hide that one. This one doesn't look good either. You can see how it's a very flat line. Just doesn't look like it really sells. This one is the same. I'm going to take that out. This one does not look like it has much of a rank at all. This one looks not great, but we're going to keep it in there and just see what we find. Again, this one also is not very good. This one sells. You could see, you could count the dips on this one, and you could see it sells one or two per month. Um, and, uh, whoops. We're actually going to take that one out as well. This one not looking good. This one looks really interesting. Look how squiggly that line is. There's a there's a lot going on here. And this one's pretty good too. So now let's get into looking at this very short list. You can see how quickly we went from 9,500 products to looking at a very sh small set. So let's look at the product page. Okay, so right away I could see that, you know, this looks like a generic product to me. I don't really see a real brand here. And it, this looks like a private label product. So if we're looking for wholesale suppliers uh, to contact in order to procure products, this one is not going to be, th this one doesn't look like one that we can contact because this is a private label product. Now, if you're doing private label, I may make another video and I'm not going to focus on, on that uh, in this video, but this one I'm going to rule out because it is not a real, uh, per, uh, it, it's not, it's, it's, a, it's a private label product.
Okay, this one's interesting. So, uh, I don't know how you say this. Ikea Interactive Coffee Brewing Scale. But this looks like it could be a brand. Ikea looks like a brand. And it looks like something that we can we could search for. So I'm simply going to Google it like you see that I just did and aha, see right there. They have a website. So this is this does look like a brand. And they have a bunch of stuff including the product that that we see on Amazon. Now If you poke around their website, you could find, um, you know, these are their retailers, their authorized retailers. And what you're really looking for is the contact us. You want to find a way to contact this group. And so you could see that this one should be on our list to contact. And if we contact them, if we're able to make contact, we already know that we can sell this coffee brewing scale in black. We already know that this is a winner and that it's selling on, um, it's selling on Amazon for $182, assuming we could acquire it wholesale for 50% of that cost, which is $91.18, which is very reasonable. In fact, I'm willing to bet you could acquire it for less than this. If you can do that, you're making a $50 product, $50, $50 profit for each product sold with a 60% return on investment and a 31% margin. Let me just look through this a little bit more. There's only one FBA seller that you're competing with and nobody else. And it only weighs 1.9 pounds. So your shipping costs are going to be uh, very low. So, you know, that looks like a very interesting product and we should contact this group. Now let's go on to, let's go on to the next one. American Way Scales digital hanging scale. Okay, so again, what I'm really interested in is to understand if this is a brand. And it looks like selling on a lot of third party websites. And maybe this is, this looks like it could be. Yep. Is that the scale? It sure is. We just found it. So American Way Scales Inc. So this is a, a, um, looks like a wholesale product or maybe this is uh, interesting. So so they're selling, so let's see, is this wholesale or retail? Let's just see here. Sorry guys, I'm, 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 I haven't looked at this, so I'm looking at this with you guys uh, live. This is, um, this is selling for forty three sixty nine, and it looks like we could acquire this product according to this from this website for twenty nine ninety five. So if we acquired it for twenty nine ninety five, which is higher than what we assumed.
we're not going to make a profit. We're going to make a very small profit, $1.96. But I'm not sure that that's the best price. And I know that this product sells because I could see it's keep a chart. So, and it has a lot of reviews. If it was me, I would probably contact this group and do a little more research to see if the website we looked at was indeed its original supplier or if that was a reseller. Uh, and also to see if, if $29.95 is really the best purchase price we can negotiate. So I'm going to keep that one on the list. Now Jetboil, let's look at this one. We're going to keep moving. Micro cooking system. That looks kind of interesting. Well, this looks like a brand. And what we're looking for is some sort of a contact page, partner, distribution, login. So this is one that we want to look into further because it looks like it is a brand. It doesn't sell a whole lot. So this one would really have to have a good profit, which it looks like it does if we could acquire it low enough. So I would be on the fence about this one, but it's worth my time to look into it because it has very low competition. Okay, so now we have eye gauging and actually the, the bottom two, both of these bottom two are the same brand eye gauging. And I could see, wow, that looks great. That looks like it sells a lot. You know, that's not as great, but it does sell. And as, lo as long as there's very low competition, which there is, there's only one FBA seller on each of those listings, then these could be a winner. So, uh, and I always like to find suppliers where I could order multiple products. So I'm going to see, is this a supplier or is, or is this a, private label and I think it's a supplier it is it looks like it is well here's eye gauging and where to buy and contact us there we go this is great see they have an email address I could send them some emails um, I could send them an email immediately I could I could call them they're located they have a location in California and my email to them would be very direct. It would, it would say, listen, I am a, um, uh, I'm a retail seller and I am uh, looking for products to source in this category. And I happen to come across their digital soft gauge and I'll, I would give them their part number or UPC code and say, I'm interested in selling this product. And I would ask them to send me their price sheet not only for this product but for all of their products if possible so i can see all of their products and once i get that from them then i could see you know if my assumptions of 50 percent of cost of um uh cost of estimate fees if if i could actually acquire it for 1748 or 2998 uh, but at least i know what my target is so when i'm talking to them and they ask me or they tell me a number, they say, well, we're selling this product for 32. You could very quickly say, well, listen, I, I, I would be very interested in buying this product, but my number is really 29.98. That's where I need to be to make a profit. Or if you can't get them there, you could very easily just update this for 32 and you could see, well, you still have 45% ROI and a 12% return. You could make that deal happen. So you could see how flexible the system is to allow you to take a list of 9,500 results that you found. And now we've narrowed it down to one, two, three, four brands that you can target directly now and see if you can become an authorized reseller for one of these brands. And if you can, you know how much you have to acquire the product for in order to get your profit and you know these products are going to sell and you know they have very very low competition 
I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, definitely visit our Facebook page and our new Twitter. Uh, any support you guys can give us there would be much appreciated. If you want the latest news and updates, please follow us on Facebook and like and share us as well as Twitter. Um, and we also have a YouTube page, so check us out there if you want to see more videos. Thank you very much and happy analyzing.